This project is estimating portfolio distributions of stocks, bonds, and assets within a portfolio to optimize risk and return. And we'll look at two different methods of making these types of estimations. The first is the mean variance portfolios. And these are constructed using sample means and variances of past returns and risks. The problem that can come about is that poor or out of sample um, uh, there can be estimation errors and so your risks and your returns on your different assets and bonds and stocks change over time and then portfolio managers seeking optimal returns and risks have to rebalance their portfolios um, and this rebalancing causes excessive transaction costs and often there's frequent rebalancing and dramatic swings in the weights within the performance uh, portfolio um, and I'm going to be looking for two at two different methods and trying to find a method that has a lower um, shift when you need to shift the portfolio um, and to achieve better stability. So I'm going to pull up uh, what we're looking at here and this um, this is actually an example of the different weights that uh, stocks can be put into a portfolio and you see on the uh, y-axis there's uh, the level of weights um, and then on the x-axis there is the on the bottom half there's the return and on the top half there's the risk um, so let's look at um, this project in R I have all my code in one document and I'll be looking at this through the R console I'm going to be using three different libraries, F Portfolio, Robust Base, and Corpcar. Um, and in order to estimate the portfolio specifications, I'm going to be using uh, the covariance estimator function called covariance get estimator portfolio spec. And this is going to give us the specific structure of um, of how the portfolio will be balanced. Um, uh, I'm getting all my data. All right, and we're going to start making the estimates. I um, mean, see, I'm using three different uh, three different um, libraries: the F portfolio, the robust base, and the corp car, and. Here is the different data frames um, of the uh, different weights that I'll be giving to the portfolios. Um, you have the portfolio weights in the top data frame, the covariance risk budgets of the six different stocks we'll be using in the second data frame, and the third data frame is the target return and target risks. And all of these numbers are given from our data set which um, we incorporated earlier. This next section I'm setting the frontier points and this is going to give us the frontier that we're looking for. This is the trade-off between risk and return. At the, um, at the bottom you see target risk and on the y-axis is the target return and this is for the MCD robustified mean variance portfolio. Um, the mean variant it's called the minimum covariance determinant and it's a different way of estimating portfolios which as we talked about earlier gives um, lower when you when you shift the resources in your portfolio between stocks and bonds you get a lower um, uh, you have to shift less. Okay on the left you see the mean covariance determinant method of changing portfolios. Um, on the top x-axis is the target risk. On the bottom x-axis in all of these is the target return. You see the different stocks um, that we're using and I've given different colors to all of these. And then on the y-axis is the weight which means the different amount of stocks um, that we're giving to each portfolio. So you see it goes up from 0.00 to 0.08 and then the top would be point, uh, 
would be 1. So if it's at 1, which it is on Alt on the very far right of this graph, that means your portfolio is made entirely of ALT. Um, and then you see if you want lower risk, you would be more on the left side of these graphs. And if you want uh, higher returns, then you would be more on the right side of these graphs. And higher returns generally goes with the ALT. Lower returns goes with uh, the SBI stock. I'm going to put in my other method of estimating portfolios, which is the, um, on the right, the covariance method, the COV method. And as you see, they have it looks pretty much the same, but there's subtle differences and that makes all the difference. So let's look at these um, six different columns. Um, the top row is the weights for these two different estimators. And the, the different weights are um, based off of our estimates earlier of what the optimal weights would be. Um, the second row is the weighted returns which is how each different stock contributes to different returns. And then the third row is the covariance risk budgets, which is how the different stocks contribute to the different risk budgets.